Hey everybody, Adam here at Porter Pressing. This week I'm going to go over Rolly's Automate Programming. Last week we did Asafi. Rolly's is very similar, it's just a different kind of sequence of button presses, but very straightforward once you get the hang of it. I have the new Push 5 remote here, installed shade, all you need is a paper clip, and you also need this tiny screwdriver that comes with the remote box that I'll get to later. Now, on the motor head, there's a program button just like the Sophie lithium ion, and you're going to press and hold that button for a certain number of jogs of the shade, and that'll dictate what's happening to the shade. One jog and release means you're pairing the remote to the shade. Two jogs is putting the motor to sleep, which we do here before we send it out. Three jogs will reverse the direction of the shade, and four jogs will factor reset it. Now, for this video, I'm going to reset the motor and then go into pairing. So to reset the motor, I'm going to press and hold this program button for four jogs. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. And it has to be consecutive jogs. Now in order to pair the remote to the shade, it was the one jog. So I'm going to press and hold that button for one jog. One jog, I'm going to release. I'm going to select my channel on the remote. We'll go to channel one here. I'm going to press and hold the stop button until the shade jogs twice. There it is. And then I'm just going to check the direction. So if I press down, the shade moves down, which it does. If I press up, the shade moves up, which it does. So we're going to set our upper limit. Set the upper limit. Set it right there, and to set the upper limit, you're going to press and hold the stop and the up button at the same time until you get two jogs in the shade. There you go. Then we're going to bring it down to the lower limit. And you, just, you can press and hold down, it'll continuously travel. If you just press and release down, it'll just move inch by inch. So we'll bring it up a little bit, I went too far. So we'll set it right about there, and it's the same sequence for the lower limit. Press and hold the down and the stop button until you get two jogs in the shade. And there you go. And then you just test it. So press and release the up button, shade will travel to the upper limit. Press and release the down button, shade will travel to the down, down limit. So check the lower limit, and then we're going to go to adjusting those limits. And in order to adjust the limit, all you do is just like saving the limit, I'm going to press and hold the down and the stop button to adjust the lower limit. I'll get one jog of the shade. There it is. And then I just kind of adjust it where I want. And it looked pretty good originally, but just for training purposes, I'm going to adjust it. So leave it there, and then you just repeat that press. You're going to press and hold the down and stop on until you get two jogs in the shade. And there you go. And the same thing for the upper limit, we'll bring it up. And it's press and hold the up and the stop on at the same time until the shade jogs once. You adjust it, and then you press and hold the up and the stop again. So we're going to do that. Press and hold up and stop at the same time until the shade jogs. There it is. We'll adjust it slightly. Let's just bring it down a bit and repress that up and stop at the same time. Press and hold until you get two jogs of the shade. There you go. So then, if you want to set a favorite position, that's where this tiny screwdriver comes into play. And so it's very important to hold on to this. There's a uh, small screw fastener on the back of this remote. So you're going to undo that, which I already have done here. Take the cap off. And you'll notice that there's a P2 button on the top left. Kind of looks like a little bulb here. In order to set a favorite position, you're going to bring the shade where you want. Let's go somewhere halfway there. You're going to press and release that P2 button. The shade will jog. Then you're going to go to the front of the remote, press and release the stop button. The shade will jog again. And you're going to press it a second time and release it. The shade will jog again. And it'll jog twice confirming that you set that favorite position. So we'll test that. Let's bring the shade down. We'll bring it that, to that favorite position by pressing, pressing hold the stop button on the shade until it starts to travel. It should go to that intermediate position, which it does. So that's the Rollies Arc Motor Programming Guide. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. We'll maybe do some installation videos or something, but continue with this. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks, guys.